हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर अमित धाकोजी हेड एंड कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोसर्जन एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स बाणेर पुणे एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी क्रूशियल न्यूरोसर्जिकल इमरजेंसी दैट इज अ सब एरेक्नोइड हिमरेज इट फॉल्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ ह्यूमरेजिक स्ट्रोक्स एंड इट इज अ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ ह्यूमरेज इन द सब एरेक्नोइड सिस्टम अ सिस्टम विच इज आउटसाइड द ब्रेन एंड विच सराउंड द ब्रेन and it is filled with usually cerebro spinal fluid or water around the brain so if any hemorrhage occurs inside this compartment we call it as a subarachnoid hemorrhage it is very common disorder usually during winter seasons or the earlier months of the year we encounter these subarachnoid hemorrhages and the most common cause of these subarachnoid hemorrhages is an aneurysm So what is an aneurysm? Aneurysm is a balloon like dilatation of a blood vessel inside the brain and it is because of the weakening of the vessel wall. There can be multiple reasons for it. That can be a genetic congenital weakness of the vessel wall, it can be some inflammatory disorders like Marfan syndrome or rheumatoid arthritis or it could be related to increased shear force that is hypertension. so usually these are middle aged males or females and they have sudden severe excruciating headache which they have never experienced in their life associated with neck pain so whenever any individual encounter such kind of severe excruciating headache which is unrelenting not responding to medicines sometimes they fall unconscious they can throw a seizure and when they land with us in the emergency department they we can find the neck is stiff and they are the patient is holding his head continuously occasionally there is vomiting also so we evaluate these patients with a ct scan which shows a typical pattern of subarachnoid hemorrhage and we know that some vessel balloon or an aneurysm has ruptured inside the brain so to further investigate which vessel has ruptured and where it has ruptured how big is the aneurysm are there any other associated aneurysms we do a ct angiography or a digital subtraction angiography so once we do these angiographies of the brain we know which vessel is harboring the aneurysm and depending upon the neck dome ratio that is how short is the neck how is the dome of the aneurysm we need to treat either surgically or with an endovascular intervention so whenever one aneurysm has ruptured there is always a chance that it can rupture again because there is a potential a rupture site already happening and once the blood pressure or any stress increases inside the patient's body the site can give way again and there can be a potentially dangerous or potentially fatal subarachnoid hemorrhage once again and usually the second hemorrhage is very massive so to prevent this hemorrhage again we have to treat this aneurysm as early as possible so usually we carry out the ct angiography or digital subtraction angiography as early as possible and the next elective day or next day we usually like to treat this aneurysm so depending upon the site or depending upon the neck dome ratio depending upon the nature of aneurysm either we can clip the aneurysm that means by opening the skull and we put a titanium clip across the neck to occlude the aneurysm from the circulation or we can put an Uh, endovascular uh, catheter and we can put coils inside the aneurysm which can be a, a stent assisted coiling or without any assistance of stent so once we secure the aneurysm and once we secure the neck of the aneurysm the aneurysm is excluded from the brain circulation and no more any blood is going through the aneurysm so that this patients can be completely treated so uh, this is a potentially fatal condition but if recognized early and if treated properly these patients are cured from in their lifetime so they will never develop aneurysm at that site and they can lead a normal life so proper precaution like checking your blood pressure regularly after the age of 35 then uh, avoid undue stress and to get yourself screened for angiography to rule out this uh, aneurysms whenever there is a family history of aneurysms in your family is very crucial for early identification and treatment of this potentially dangerous condition so we need a comprehensive team like a neurosurgeon a neurologist emergency medicine department intensive care as well as neurovascular interventionist 
which is available at Manipal Hospital Baner Pune and I urge the general population to identify or be aware about this condition and uh, we should give attention to this potentially dangerous condition called as aneurysm of the brain and subarachnoid hemorrhage. Thank you so much.